The Nigerian Youth Compact has organized a conference to educate residents of Kaduna State on the coronavirus. The event is themed Voices of Nigerian Youth on COVID-19. The group has also begun a nationwide data collection exercise on youth who were affected by the pandemic. This next report has more. Multi-sectoral stakeholders are rubbing minds at this conference on the challenges of the novel coronavirus pandemic and the solutions. National coordinator Nigerian Youth Compact, Gambo Suleiman, highlights the impact of the virus on livelihoods, education, and the community. He also calls for international aid to support Nigerian youths. 60% of Nigerian population is under the age of 35, constituting a highly mobile youth demography that defines the workforce in Africa's most popular nation, Nigeria. The guest speaker, Kasa Moses, commended the youth for their response to the pandemic and encouraged them to be resilient in the face of the global health challenge by building businesses and aspiring to leadership positions. If you may ask that how many of us here are gainfully employed, maybe we may see 10 or 20, you know, the rest may not be employed. May ask that how many are you, or of you are doing businesses? Maybe about 150 or 200 of you, your businesses may have closed down because of the uh, COVID-19 um, scorched uh, 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 you know, effect on the economy. A representative of the Emmy of Zozo, Kabir Zubay, commended the organizers of the conference and called on the government to provide more COVID-19 vaccines to flatten the curve. So we are pleading to the federal government to please provide the vaccine to immunize all Nigerians because the virus is a very destroy everything in the country. So that's why His Highness is pleading to the federal government and I commend the Youth Compact for organizing this very important. The Nigerian Youth Compact on COVID-19 says it will achieve its goal of generating the data of Nigerians by embarking on sensitization campaigns in local government areas. The conference ends with the presentation of awards to individuals and organizations that have supported young people in data generation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.